we performed a phase 1 2 study of the combination of BCL2 inhibitor venetoclax with MDM2 inhibitor idacinutlin both venetoclax and idacinutlin have shown activity in acute myeloid leukemia single agents but the response rates were modest between 10 to 20% now, venetoclax in combination with azacitidine has shown fantastic activity in the frontline AML setting, showing response rate of 65 to 75 percent and median survival of 18 months, which is double or more of what we used to get with azacitidine alone, and this combination has been approved. We have a lot of preclinical data which was published in Cancer Cell last year but by Dr. Andreev and Konopleva uh, and Dr. Pan showing that the combination of the MDM2 inhibitor idacinutlin specifically with venetoclax was extremely synergistic. And we think this goes down to the MCL1 upregulation which is a major mechanism of resistance to venetoclax. And with the MDM2 coming in, we are actually able to degrade MCL1 both directly and indirectly uh, through some of the other protein pathways. And this may be why it prevents resistance and allows the venetoclax to have more potent activity. So this study was basically a dose finding study. We started at low doses of venetoclax 200 milligrams which were then eventually ramped up to 400, 600 and in parallel we were slowly going up on the dose from 100 to 150 to 200. What we found is in the entire study population, which was 39 patients, uh, we do see uh, responses at multiple dose levels, going from the lowest doses to the highest. But the responses seem to be the most enriched in the venetoclax 600 dose, either with IDESA 150, days one through five, or IDESA 200, days one through five. And this is important because this dose of the IDESA nutlin is actually almost one third of the dose that is being considered or used in their phase three study. And that's good because we're seeing much much less diarrhea and much more manageable toxicity profile, especially with the implementation of antidiarrheal therapy. Now from an efficacy standpoint, uh, the responses are very, very impressive. We showed the waterfall plot, which showed that almost 90% or more patients had some degree of blast reduction. In fact, 70% or more had a 50% or higher blast reduction. And these are all relapse patients. They're not getting chemo or AZ at all. So this is targeted, targeted approaches. And we actually did see at the dose that we're going to be taking forward for escalation, which was the VEN 600 with IDES at 200 or 150, an overall response rate of 46% in relapsed elderly acute myeloid leukemia, which has historically been a very, very difficult population to treat. And that included CRCRI rate of 35%. So if these data continue to hold out in larger numbers, we think that this is potentially a major strategy to consider taking forward for development of the IDES and Atlin venetoclax. And the next step of course will be can we add the IDES and Nutlin to azacitidine venetoclax backbone and frontline and improve the two-year survival rates from 45 percent to maybe 60 65 percent which would be amazing because these same patients five years ago their two three year survival rates were 15 percent so I think we're seeing major progress and we're seeing less and less use of chemotherapy which is the future and I think this study is going to be very very important one in 2019 and beyond